um, the winner of the winner's bracket. So uh, assuming you have an advanced mathematics degree, you followed all that. Don't worry, though. We'll hold your hand the entire way and let you know what is going on. So we've got readies from all the players. Mm -hmm. Richard is reseating himself. And uh, Chris, I think we are ready to get this started. All right. I'll try to average that countdown so it works for everybody. Three, two, one, Tetris. And for those of you watching who haven't seen Richard play before, the reason why he goes off camera is because his PC is located elsewhere in the room. So uh, he's not walking away <laughs> from the mat. He's, uh, yeah. he's getting ready for it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a meme where it's like, oh my God, Richard is popping off. Richard is uh, rage quitting. Richard, no, Richard's just walking across the room trying to get on his computer. Legit rage quit for a uh, cpwc <laughs> online event is when the webcam goes dark yeah That's what I like yeah you'll see that or controllers are thrown and then it just kind of like boom, 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 boom. you know you'll see, you'll know it when you see it yeah actually i got to see uh probably the first uh tetris rage quit at the nintendo world championships 1990 uh it was the los angeles uh city finals the one that I, the one i won but this was like the second week and uh one of the competitors, oddly his name was Jeff, uh, he uh, topped out early, and I don't even think he made a Tetris, and he just got mad and he started swinging the control over his head and he smashed it into into the station, and everybody's just jaw hit the floor because no one had ever seen a rage quit, like, in the history of gaming. I mean, yeah. there probably had been happened, it had happened, just not in an event like that, and uh, from what I know, uh, he was uh, banned from Nintendo events ever since then. Oof. Uh, so up top here, early goings, we've got Joseph at 119,000, Richard at 103. It says Rich on the screen, but he likes to go by Richard, or at least I, I've been calling him that for two years, and he hasn't corrected me. Uh, and then yeah, down the so many <laughs> letters that you could fit up there, so that's why it's Rich. That's right. And then we've got uh, Jerpy Dude 162 and Benji 127. So Joseph slowing down here for the first time. Lots of garbage over on the right side, but yeah, going to clear away. It's up to quickly. a slight lead now. But effectively dealing with that Richard way up there, just demonstrating his survival skills just at the top of the screen, that piece maneuverability. Go up Tetris for Richard. Yeah. So so I think some of the dynamic you're going to see here is, I mean, Richard knows who he's up against, played him before, knows what he's capable of. Joseph, you know, he, is, he has the high score world, world record in addition to... Uh, being the reigning world champion. He has an unofficial 1.4 million game that happened off stream and unrecorded. We all believe him, but, you know, we uh, we only, there is no actual evidence, but we know it's true. Uh, but, you know, even without that, he also has the score world record. So Rich, Richard knows what Joseph's capable of. So you're going to see some aggressive and daring play and maybe some gambles uh, to try to stay ahead in pace. Right now, Joseph uh, ahead by 33,000 at Tetris and a half. Meanwhile, on the bottom, Jerpy has opened up a big lead, 93,000, now 99,000 points at 308,000 points versus Benji's 210. So Benji's got some work to do, but Benji's got a great looking field and he's been playing consistently today. No early top outs or anything. So if you keep up that pace and that consistency of play, then he's going to give Jerpy a fight. But Jerpy bangs down another Tetris now, 120,000 points ahead. Richard just put that high left stack, taking a triple there. Yep. So he's playing risky, but he's also compromising on points, taking so many triples like that. Yeah. Well, you know, there's there's a, an advantage to survival. I mean, it's better to be still, you know, in the competition, especially with his reputation for being a comeback artist. Um, you know, has has hung in there with the best of them, including Corian. I remember one uh, TTM where. He was back by over 250,000 points, like late in the game, 23, 24, and came back, even though uh, Corian was still alive. So it was incredible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, being able to play that high, you, know, you you get confidence. And with that, oh man, we see a early top out from Benji there, and Jerpy's going to take the first round. Yeah, just like that, that viral out of control really fast. Mm hmm. All right, we'll get that game started once the players are ready. Up top here, Joseph, with a little bit of burning to do. He's got a hole in his stack here. Took a triple. See if he takes the burns or, or what he's going to do. Maybe he'll build center well. Joseph stashing that Z piece in a creative place on the left. 
And it's not a misdrop, that is him stashing that piece there, then you know he's gonna he's gonna deal with it later. Yeah, I'm just interested in seeing what he's gonna tuck in there. He does a nice Z spin there. And then I guess he's just gonna burn it off the top. And R Richard just still really high stack. Taking a double and a single. And that's what gives Joseph like a two Tetris score advantage now. Boom Tetris for Joseph. Widening that lead. Mm -hmm. Joseph stack looking excellent right now. Yeah, Richard with a little bit of burning to do. And by the way, this is not a uh, one-way effect. Joseph also knows who's he, who he's mm -hmm. playing against as well. And very much the same kind of considerations on his mind. Richard's going to transition here for 55. Relatively low transition for him. And, and Joseph's not even on level 19 yet. He's got a couple of Tetrises to go that he can make before that. Uh, so his lead is actually deceptively lower than it appears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just because Richard was, you know, playing high, so the pieces have a mm -hmm. shorter time, shorter distance and time to fall until the next one comes. So you end up getting a few lines ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joseph's keeping it clean, now playing a little higher. Boom Tetris for Joseph. And uh, Rich is going to have to fill out that left side. Boom Tetris for Richard. Down 50,000 points. Joseph at 611,000. Richard at 561. On the bottom, Benji's playing up high. Boom Tetris for Benji. They're neck and neck, but it's early on in the second game of theirs. Yep, Joseph level 20, Richard level 22. Separated by about 50,000 points. Richard would have taken a triple there. Yeah, Richard, his play field finally kind of in the right zone to continually score Tetrises. But he's waiting for a long bar. It's not coming. He's getting a drought. Ooh, it's stacking up high. And I don't think he's going to be able to survive that. So Joseph takes the first round. He just waited too long, and the, the mm -hmm. drought came suddenly, and he wasn't able yeah. to burn down. Well, what he did is, you know, uh, Richard built up sort of, you know, kind of the columns over on the right, ex excluding the, you know, Tetris well, and the columns on the left, but left his big canyon in the middle waiting for the right piece. But unfortunately, it didn't come. He ended up having to put, uh, I think, a Z piece in there, which left a gap. And so it left him like just not the ability to burn. And by the time he was able to get a piece over to the left, uh, it was just too late. He didn't get the long bar he wanted, and he was kind of all in on it. So um, Jerpy was playing super high and just made a really, really high dirty Tetris. Like one of the dirtiest high Tetris I've seen today. Hanging in there. Yeah, 205 for Jerpy, do 240 for Benji. About 50, uh, about 60 lines in. And Jerpy up high. Yeah, he's been there for a while, and he was he scored a Tetris up there, and he's surviving. Jerpy showing off some excellent piece maneuverability and digging skills. What a dig. Okay, he skims that off the top, so he's not Tetris ready up there again. Ah, but he makes a well. Let's see if he can turn that into something. Holding out. Longbar not coming. Having to settle for... Some clears and the long bar doesn't come. Oh, it jerk. He's come for the drought. And Benji takes that one, so we're 1-1 one, one on the bottom. Yeah, the I hate hey hate to say the the word RNG, but yeah, the RNG for the games on top and bottom there. You know, you have a player just waiting for that long bar and it doesn't come. It can be fatal. So let's see if our players can adjust to uh make it a little more survivable and not have these early top outs. Although in the case of Richard, he was deep into the 19 speed, so that was a little bit of a different situation. So there is a huge advantage uh, uh, coming through the winner's bracket, right? So the player that come, you know, you have to be just, you know, I've said this a few times, uh, you know, yesterday and last weekend, but we might have some new people here. This is a double elimination tournament. And that means in order to be eliminated from the tournament, you have to lose twice. And that even includes the finals. So uh, the player coming out of the winner's bracket into the finals would have to be defeated twice in order for the, uh, the loser's player winner 
to move on. So a uh, huge advantage to come out of the winner's bracket. Um, what or, is Jerpy building in the middle there? Oh, I don't know. Is he trying to speed run here? Like, raise ah. that stack to... Yeah, tree strats. <laughs> Well, he's got a uh, he's got an uh, eye tuck set up, uh, column nine, but not getting the eye, so he has to clear it all away. Uh, I guess that was like a stylish triple bird down the middle. It, it's beautiful, but that allows uh, Benji to pull ahead and point somewhat. Benji with a nice field here and half a Tetris ahead. Boom, Tetris for Benji. Jerpy looking good again. Boom, Tetris for Jerpy. Yeah, it looked like Jerpy was building some some kind of tuck configuration there, and it just didn't work out. And he might have been going for a line spin there, but it didn't work out either. So uh, we're seeing some tucks and spins, but Jerpy's overall kind of leaving a lot of gaps in his field. So <clears throat> he's going to have to clean that up. That's costing him some pace and lines, and Benji's pulling ahead. Mm -hmm. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. He's getting... Slight lead now, but Tetris and a half ahead, but Boom Tetris for Richard, right in there as we approach 50 lines, still early on in the second game of theirs. Now I do want to alert uh, folks here that, you know, might be just stumbling on this. Uh, there are two channels of action. The other one, twitch.tv slash classic Tetris 2. So look up classic Tetris 2 because the final for the other half of this tournament uh, is going on right there. So. You'll want to check that out right now. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I just glanced over there and spoiled myself, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, it's some good touch for the action that you should not miss. Yeah, you can have both of them open. It's okay. We, we checked, and it is totally legal. Uh, 327 for Joseph, 292 for Richard. Joseph's going to Tetris and another Tetris. So 80,000 point lead for Joseph here. Down the bottom, 184 Jerpy Dude, 224 for Benji. We give score checks here, even though you can see it on stream so that the players can mm -hmm. hear it and know where they are relative to each other. But yeah, that dig by Jerpy earlier with those uh, strange tuck and overhang setups allows Benji to take a pretty commanding lead this early on. Benji's got a double well dependency there. Needs some line eyepieces to fill that in. He gets them. He's got about three lines to burn before he can have that well back open. Ops use the T on the left, not the right. Okay, he's going to open that up with a double. And he's ready to score. He had to cover it up. Both Jerpy and Benji now. Good play field and starting to score Tetrises again. Yeah, within a Tetris of each other. Benji trying to fill in a little mini spire there. He's Tetris ready now. Jerpy with a tuck is Tetris ready and Tetrises. So 310 Jerpy, 307 for Benji, neck and neck. Mm -hmm. Neck and neck and very evenly matched at this point. Mm -hmm. One game uh, apiece here in a best of five. And we're getting a close game up top, too, with uh, Rich with a good play field and Joseph with some holes to fill. But he should be out of that fairly quickly. They're within a Tetris of each other. Rich now developing some gaps in the play field you'll have to burn. They're kind of going back on and forth on that. Joseph having to take split triple there. Up by one. Is Rich going to transfer to the left? Yeah, you might... Rich might left well does, and he does. Boom, Tetris for Rich on the left well. Yeah, he gets an efficient transfer of the right, and that's exactly what you're looking for when you're trying He's to transfer your well. Oh, he is going to keep it to the left. You're, yeah. Generally speaking, yeah, you're trying to stay on the right, of course, and if you do have to transfer, you'd like to do it with a Tetris so you don't waste any lines. You know, players, uh, if there's one overriding commandment here, it's don't waste lines, right? Every time you burn a single or a non-Tetris line clear... Uh, it's that many fewer Tetrises that you're able to score. So Joseph's going to transition 566, and Richard is one piece away here. And there it is. Boom, Tetris for Richard. 561 transition. So uh, really neck and neck on the top. And at this point where the players are just scoring so many Tetrises and with such a high proportion, 
yeah, you're starting to count the number of lines that aren't Tetrises as the difference between the players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and really, well, we'll see what Joseph uh, is able to do here. He's got a Spire going here. I'm going to work around it. This is not easy. Yeah, this is a tough survival burn here, but he's, he's doing it. Yep. And, you know, not again, not to give away any spoilers here, but we have seen margins of victory where it came down to one or two burned lines. Joseph in trouble. He's scrambling up at the top of his stack right now, and he's not ahead. And I think he's going to top out, and he is going to top wow. out. Uh, tops out and at Richard 614. Richard's good. Out. Richard yeah, is one, good. One. Wow. We were, yeah, we're starting to see the players push each other. They're way up there playing mm -hmm. aggressively, and yeah. that's what can happen. That's exactly what you were talking about, where these players push each other to, you know, kind of build higher and higher in more daring ways and take more gambles. You know, banking on their ability, especially for hyper tappers, to be able to get, you know, stash pieces over on the left. There is Richard drinking Joseph's milkshake right there. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, but the cup was silver, so what does silver indicate, Richard? So maybe you got to get yourself a golden cup there. Uh, all right, so we're going to wait for them to get ready. Down at the bottom, Jerpy Dude, 648, 573, Benji, Benji, getting drowned all in on a long bar, gets it. He, he's going to have a really tricky uh, uh, down stack here. If he can even do it, he hangs a piece. Can't get anything else over there. So Jerpy's going to take this one. Now with the uh, elimination situation. Match point here. Uh, Jerpy up one over Benji. Benji has to win to stay in this. Yep. Yeah, really evenly matched down there otherwise. Yeah, you bet. The, now, the bottom match is an elimination match. The player who loses will be out of the tournament. So everything on the line down there. And, you know, the player that... Um, you know, obviously there are cash prizes. The cash prizes start at the top 16, so... Players, uh, if they come out of the losers bracket, that mm -hmm. will guarantee that they do make the prizes. So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and get both of these ready. They're both. Uh huh. I can work with that. Three, two, one. Tetris. But yeah, both Joseph and Richard able to play up so high, able to take those risks. So you're going to see more of this, more of this uh, really pushing each other and uh, a clinic on high speed survival at the very top of the screen as uh, these are the two most capable players in the world of being able to live yeah. to tell the tale or yeah. at least try. Yeah, this, this, this game becomes, when it's played at a very high level, it becomes a contest of efficiency. And that means not burning. And for these hyper tappers, their way to deal with pieces that they can't really immediately use is to stash them over to the left as high as they possibly can while not making any gaps. Uh, that does lead to some very high and precarious builds and to taking some daring risks. And uh, sometimes it does blow up. So uh, it is high stakes, high a high wire trapeze act. Mm hmm. And yeah, Joseph was pretty up uh, pretty high just a little while ago, but he's able to tear it all down. Uh, and once the long bars finally do come, then, then you can score. But if it doesn't, then you're in for a survival dig. Yeah, no good place for uh, Richard to put these S pieces. And he's, the game's just feeding him S pieces right now. I think sometimes the game knows that you don't want them. Yeah, that... That's what Tetris Nightmares are made out of, those Zs and S bursts. <laughs> yeah, and square bursts, which Richard is also getting. So uh, Richard opens up the right side, though. He's going to Tetris. He is back to safety. 111, Richard, small lead over Joseph, who has 104. Down the bottom, Jerpy Dude, 163, and Benji, 90,000. Yeah, both players playing pretty clean down there. Jerpy up a bit high, but he's just waiting for long bars at that point, too keep things manageable and Jerpy up to a 50,000 point lead at 188,000 points to versus Benji's 136 Benji building over his well pretty high on the right he's going to be in dig mode for a while mm -hmm. 
Well, actually, he's kind of getting the right pieces now, so this could actually clear away if he can if he can avoid putting additional weight on row ten, and he's gonna Tetris out of it, so he is back Run to safety. Benji. Yeah, he built a like a two high roof over that and was able to just turn it into a double, so that looked really good. Good strategy. Rich way up there. Need to deal with a dependent thing in the middle there, and he's able to get the J to fill it in. Having that ideal too wide uh, mouth oh. to the well. Yeah, no. Uh, Joseph setting up a uh, vertical eye tuck uh, setup, uh, which is kind of sort of a trend over the last few months, where players setting up column nine tucks for vertical long bars. Mm -hmm. Some some people want to call it a Moo thing after Moo Deuce, who has sort of popularized it, but some of the players don't like Moo Deuce, especially because he's kind of like an anti hyper tapper. So they've named it something else. Some inside Tetris drama. Yeah, I, I can't wait to hear about all that internal yeah. <laughs> Tetris online drama. Now, I originally tried to get it called the Death Defying Vertical Long Bar Slide after what That's Adam, what I heard it. Yeah, what, what Adam Cornelius called it uh, when Harry Hung did it in the uh, Ecstasy of Order. <laughs> but then that was good for a couple of months, but then the Moodoos co opted it. So Joseph has opened up a huge lead now, 110,000 points and increasing. Approaching the 100 lines mark. Yeah, 429 for Joseph. Uh, Richard's going to Tetris 341. Down at the bottom, 426 Jerpy, 330 for Benji. Benji building up high here, but he's going to get a Tetris, and so is Jerpy. Yeah, so also about a 100,000 point lead there for Jerpy. Joseph stacking up high on the left now. Rich with the fire in the middle, navigating around it. And he blocked off as well. He's gonna have to fill in that left if he wants to be able to burn. Yeah, you see Rich you see, you see Richard stashing those people pieces over on the left, like way higher than any DAS player would be able to do. He got what he needed to burn that down. Boom, Tetris for Richard. Probably very relieved after that sequence of pieces. Mm -hmm. Boom, Tetris for Richard again. Uh, Joseph's been scoring as well, so even with that, uh, Joseph maintains his lead of 90,000 points. Yeah, Richard. Richard about to transition here, 127 lines. He'll hit level 19. Uh, a little miss. in trouble, oh, no. really up high and dependent. Uh, he's got to have a perfect piece to get in there, barely making that... And he's gonna need a long bar to, or a J or a L to put down the middle. Wow, this is excellent survival skills by Jerpy here. Just yeah, but transition is looming, and he's gonna be up pretty high. Yeah, that's gonna be a very high transition. It'd be impressive if he can survive this. And yeah, it's not even giving him what he needs to to make it out. Yeah, that right side is just kind of closed off. Can't See, get right? Over to the left anymore. Yep. So he's gonna top out, and Benji's gonna Tetris immediately yeah, after yeah, and get the points he needs. Like, Yep, just on that. And now we are even on the bottom. We have come to a D-Cider. A D-Cider, the most delicious drink in all of Tetris, a D-Cider. Now up top here, we've got Joseph versus Richard. 641 for Joseph, 482 for Richard. Richard with some burning to do. Joseph with a little burning to do as well. 134,000 point lead for Joseph, our, form, our, uh, our reigning world champion. Yeah, he's been ahead, like, pretty much this entire round. Just more efficient in burning lines than Rich has been. Just with those last-second rotations, Joseph's timing is on point. Richard getting droughted, so we're going to have to take a triple. He's safe again. He, boom, gets the Tetris, Richard. Boom, That's... Tetris, Richard, yes. So back by 155,000 points still, though. Another Tetris for Richard. Right, and Joseph's not letting up. His his pace is just on fire right now. He's actually getting better and more aggressive, as we see some players do. Post 19. All right, Richard's going to clear away the cover on as well. Would like a quick long bar here. Gets it. Boom, Tetris for Richard. 
Bone, Bone Tetris, Tetris for Joseph. Joseph. Oh, we, we both did that at the same time. <laughs> you owe me a Coke. Boom Tetris for Joseph again, now widening the lead. 176,000 points at 827,000 versus Richard's 684. Joseph just tearing it up, clearly on max out pace now. Just another day in the office for the two-time world champion. Boom Tetris for Joseph. And now Richard having to burn some more lines. Yeah, at this point point richard kind of hoping that jd just kind of tops out does not it's so far behind right now with so few mm -hmm. lines that it's gonna be really There's difficult enough lines to catch yeah. up but joseph's yeah. kind of in a dicey burn here Ooh. i'm sure we intended that rotation there but he survives it and richard up top he's gonna top out he tops out and joseph is good don't know if he's gonna I mean, he think he knows with that sigh there, but he's going to yeah, he, yeah, score one last Tetris just for... For why not? We shouldn't say, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, players at this level, you know, and they say, oh, well, we're within max out pace. You know, it's not... It's a huge deal for me if I got one, but for them, it's like, you know, yeah, another day at the office, like Chris said. So uh, they don't really go, oh, I'm going to Ben Mullen and hold out for the, for the, 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 the max out. They're just going to, hey, let's go play the next one. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're both here to compete, so Joseph's just like, all right, no need to play anymore. I'll just uh, start the next match. Or all right, so, so out of the match. Joseph one game away from winning the winner's bracket and sending Richard down to the loser's bracket. Richard's mm -hmm. going to do everything he can to prevent that from happening and, and has the capability and the history of uh, coming back. Comeback kid is Richard, uh, has done so. Uh, both of his uh, CTM victories were huge comebacks. All right, we got readies up top. Let's go ahead and get them started. And uh, you know, Richard has some momentum. He took a, a game from Joseph, and that's not an easy feat. So nope. he can uh, keep up the good work there and possibly survive this. Benji's got some holes in his stack. He's trying to clean. He's up by 40,000 points. And Chirpy's also needing to dig that back down so both games on the bottom just uh in dig mode right now yeah and it's a decider so i mean like you know the player that loses is out so i mean this is like high stakes and neither player yeah. with really stacks to write home about uh benji 43,000 point lead 234 on his side 193 for jerpy and jerpy finally opening it up ready to score gets tetris ready before benji does a long bar. Boom! Tetris for Chirpy. Now within a Tetris away at 216,000 points versus Benji's 240. And uh, Benji, his Tetris was Tetris ready. And is, yeah, he's going to play one off the bottom. And boom! Tetris for Benji. Keeping that dirty Tetris well in business. Nice tuck there. Boom! Tetris for Benji. He's Yeah, he's going to stay there with the Row two. Oh, he burned it off, and he's exposed his floor, and will have a clean play field. Yeah, I think he's just going to take the opportunity, at least you know, having a small lead or within a Tetris to just get his play field back in order. Yeah, Drippy did catch up there, so now there's still a Tetris apart. Up top here, players sort of just getting underway. 139 for Joseph, 128 for Richard. So just a Tetris and a half lead for Joseph right now. Richard playing way high, taking those risks, and then burning those singles and triples when the time comes. And Joseph's style is a bit different. He he really goes for optimization, and mm -hmm. like he'll burn a single or double if he can. But if, if not, I mean, you'll, he'll set himself up into something that looks really dangerous, and then mm -hmm. take his way out. All right, Joseph 235, Richard 203, down the bottom, 404 for Jerpy Dude, 386 for Benji. This is pretty good pace for uh, Jerpy Dude. And with that, Jerpy's going to jump into the lead now. 62,000 points at 450,000 points versus 
Benji's 389,000. And yeah, Benji having to do some burns. He has a dirty well set up, just waiting for a long bar. There it is. And boom, what a dirty Tetris from Benji. And Jerpy continuing to score, so still about a 60,000 point lead, now 80,000. But Benji keeping that dirty Tetris well alive and scoring with another one. And his stack is good again. Another Tetris for Joseph. Maintaining a lead, 60,000 points. At 330,000 points, now 353,000 points versus Richard's 285,000 points. Richard taking a single there. He's trying to get Tetris ready again. There he is. Benji has transitioned. Now at 471,000 points. Trailing by about 73,000 points now to Jerpy. At level 20. Benji needing to back down to the bottom. Jerpy with a perfect stack right now. Tetris ready. Boom, Tetris for Jerpy. Widening the lead now. 91,000 points. Benji fighting back slightly with that Tetris. Benji stack now much more uh, in better shape than it was. Richard with the Tetris there. Joseph and Richard are playing very well and very aggressively and very clean right now. Good stacks on both oh, of their Benji's teams. left side, oh. he, he knows he can't do anything, and he is going to top out, and Jerpy, dude, will survive in the loser's bracket, and Benji is out. Yeah, Benji was keeping up for a while there, but then Jerpy just pulled ahead, and then Benji wasn't able to salvage that situation. But Benji playing a lot of games today and performing very well for, for this bracket. And uh, now we'll have Jerpy facing off against whoever loses this match. Joseph building up high. 20 drought. Has to burn a double there. We're going to see some survival movements here. Nothing Joseph can't handle. Burns that roof right off. Some last second spins there. Nice. And boom Tetris for Joseph. And boom Tetris for Rich. Into transition. Level 19. Joseph still a Tetris and a line away. From level 19 speeds. There it is. Joseph with a nice clean play field going into level 19. Building for more Rich. Having a slight spire in the middle. He's having to fill in the left first. Boom, Tetris for Richard. And we are neck and neck. Richard up by a few lines, so Joseph with a slight advantage. And up by points now. But we are hurtling towards the finale here. Yeah, and Richard actually set up for another one already. If he gets it, he would take the lead with Joseph burning. Mm-hmm. Joseph's starting to have to burn here. Set up for a triple there see what he does now he's gonna skim off the top yeah richard having to take a brief break here to burn he's set up for a tetris it would give him the lead he gets a tetris and boom tetris for richard oh and oh, joseph with some trouble there yeah this should clear down but i mean it's not a given and then you know of course he's gonna have to expose that channel over there which he does gets the wow. triple and that mad survival skills getting the split triple there and Being a, in it. And another Tetris for Richard, who's got a 55,000 point lead. He's at 695 to Joseph, 640. Yeah, they're about even on lines. Another Tetris for Richard. He's building on that lead. Richard trying to yeah, force a decider. Way better. Yeah, Joseph's getting his play in an order, but, you know, and Richard with another Tetris, 100,000 point lead. Wow. Yeah, this is the most I've seen. Joseph down match. Richard take. taking a double. Yeah, Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Catching up a little bit. Now down 80,000 points at 684,000. Richard at 763. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Catching up a little bit there. Joseph is behind just by a line, so that's not much. They're pretty much the score is what you see is the difference. Yeah, Richard taking a couple burns here. Boom, Tetris for Richard. 110,000 point lead here on level 25. 
Going to Tetris with Joseph there. And since they're both scoring aggressively, Joseph is still behind. The movement for Richard getting those pieces over to the left. Amazing. Joseph keeping that alive. He's got some holes in his stack. He's going to have to burn some to stay alive. Yeah, Richard's a lot cleaner right now. Boom, Tetris for Richard. 903. He's got some cleaning to do now. 81,000 point lead for Richard. Joseph is playing really well. He managed to survive it. Yeah, he's got a burn down to the bottom. Maybe Joseph is planning to uh, make his points post-29. But you could see Richard slamming pieces over the left and Tetrising. 944 for Richard, 844 for Joseph. Boom, Tetris for Richard. He's within a Tetris of a max out here. He's got six lines till the thrill screen. He's setting up in the eighth column, Boom. Tetris for Richard. Richard max out. So Richard, I mean, Joseph's going to have to do something post kill screen here in order to catch Richard. Richard's setting up just down the middle, trying to so keep up the lead. Okay, so Richard's going to top out at 101, a million 19,000. So Joseph Still needs to get to a million 19,000. He's so he high right now, and he can't. not get the long bar. Wow, and, and Rick, Richard's going to force a decider. Mm hmm. Wow. And yeah, Joseph was playing amazing there. It's just couldn't get that long bar at the end. But yeah, that that pace by Richard just setting. And Joseph reacting to, to the situation. He knows he's got to play this decider now. And our, our chat is just going wild now. Wow. What a game. The comeback kid against the reigning world champion to see who will represent the winner's bracket. A huge advantage in this tournament. And and you just saw Richard played like the best game thus far in the tournament. It's as if Joseph is the one just igniting the fire that he's capable of and, and making him bring it. So yeah, that's what it takes sometimes. Sometimes you have to be up against the best in the world to become your best. That's right. We saw it with, uh, well, maybe your match yesterday. You'll have to go back and watch it. <laughs> and uh, we might see it right here again. We are in a decider. We're up in the winner's bracket. Joseph versus Richard. The loser is not eliminated. They will go down to the loser's bracket to play against Jerpy Dude to uh, determine who goes into the uh, grand finals here. Richard uh, taking some time. He's doing the fingers, hydrating. <laughs> As Alexi would say, do your fingers. <laughs> do That's your fingers. That. That's right. The creator of Tetris himself. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait for this match to start. But first, this commercial message. I'm just kidding. No, we're going to go right into it. That was a total joke. <laughs> yeah, players are getting prepared. This is a big match for these guys. Everything's on the line here. All right, we got a couple already. Chris, mm -hmm. do your magic. All right. Joseph, get in that water. Stay hydrated. Three, two, one. Tetris, 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 tetris. Off with post players getting a Z and an S, forcing a tuck early on. The game knows. And just. A huge stack of eyepieces for Joseph there. That is just... Is that a middle finger? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Was that like a I'm rocking out hand pose? I, I think that's what it was. <laughs> Let, let's assume that. <laughs> but yeah, you don't see that formation too often. And you don't see someone survive that formation too often. But yeah. uh, Joseph has you know some of the best dig skills that you'll see in any player so mm -hmm. it's not a problem yeah so really uh, uh, a goofy stack for joseph to start off with uh start off with richard with a good stack he's richard. he's seventy seven thousand. joseph here yet to tetris yeah joseph should be able to burn that back down and joseph just reacting physically to his situation right now. Boom, Tetris for Joseph, finally. And uh, I guess he's going to 
try to get stable here. And Richard's board's just fine right now. He's waiting for a long bar. Joseph a bit jagged, but nothing too bad. He's got to tuck that T piece in there. He's got to stash that L. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Richard Tetris ready again. Boom, Tetris for Richard. Widening the lead now, 63,000 points at 131,000 points versus Joseph 70,000. Joseph finally with a clean stack uh, here, and he's going to Tetris 93. And now Richard is the one who's burning. Joseph with a spin there. He's going to set that up for a single. Finally, Joseph has a nice high stack ready for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Yeah, you see these players building stacks that no DAS player ever would. It's much more, you know, skewed like a high left, low right side. DAS, mm -hmm. DAS player would be building a little bit flatter. So that's what the hyper tap allows you to do. Yeah, and ultimately, you're able to reserve more long pieces for that high well mm -hmm. and have a better piece efficiency. Ooh, Richard missing a line spin, actually. It's going to cause a couple extra uh, lines of burning here. That's going to give Joseph a, a chance here, possibly, to build back up. But Joseph not really ready to capitalize, so he will be momentarily. He's behind by about four or five pieces, so yeah, they're they're about even. It's neck and neck. Yeah, Jonas or <laughs> Joseph off to a slightly rough start with that weird formation, but um, things have kind of evened out, and they're pretty much in line with each other now. Joseph taking a slight lead. Richard, great play field. Stacking right around where he usually does. And boom, Tetris for Richard. He gets two in a row. I think jo Joseph needing another long bar to clear out that triple. And he's not going to wait for it. He's going to cover it up. Boom, Tetris for Richard. Starting to build a lead now. Boom, Tetris for Richard. Having a much more efficient game this time. Just slamming down Tetrises. And Joseph is being forced to just kind of build on top. And what's going on here? Usually see him play a little more aggressively. Yeah, it's just a, it just ends up kind of having a leave that, you know, the, the piece that's coming doesn't really match here. So, uh, Richard, yeah, up uh, 85,000 points and pouring on more. Joseph's going to get some of it back. 280 for Joseph, 365 for Richard. Yeah, Richard looking really good and clean this round. Hasn't even built up, like, super high yet. Well, he might start here. Yeah, not getting uh, great pieces there. Does get a Tetris, and that's going to clear down pretty efficiently. See if he, he sells for a couple of doubles, but you know, he's he's in the lead now. So yeah, I, I was curious. To see, I was curious to see if he was going to build up in column eight, uh, mm -hmm. because he's got so much in nine and ten. So I can't imagine him burning all that out without getting a Tetris out of it. But we'll see how he deals with it. Yeah, he's got some double well going on here. So Richard's going to be in dig mode for a bit. This is going to allow Joseph's super clean play field to catch up. Boom Tetris for Joseph. Yeah, it looks like Joseph got things in order. It's under control. And this is back to the kind of stack you're used to seeing him have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Richard was considering building a dirty uh, Tetris in column two, but thought better of it brought the piece back. Joseph stashing that Z up there, waiting for a tuck later on. There it is. Richard transitions now. He's still up by half a Tetris. Yeah, and through all that, Richard did not lose the lead. There was a lot of burning from Richard and sort of held on to the lead, at least through transition. Joseph's got a small bit of it back now. Yeah, we're neck and neck. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Richard's got one set up. And boom, Tetris for Richard. Neck and neck, here we go. To the level 19 speeds. You know, and this boom, Tetris for Joseph. Richard with a fire in the middle. 
That's going to be tough for him to clear. He's going to need... Oh, that right side. He's going to hang a piece. And Joseph is good. And, yeah, Joseph got things together at the level 19 speeds. And, yeah, Richard just couldn't uh, fight his way out of that spire. Yeah, there, there was an opportunity he had to take a burn or to just kind of leave a... Uh... A long bar dependency chose to take the long bar dependency kind of over neatness rear and gambling on that long bar didn't come and there is joseph's controller custom controller mm -hmm. so yeah joseph's gonna take that one sending richard to the loser slash second chance bracket 